net present value while comparing various projects for their profitability we check various criteria like spp roi and npv npv is net present value net present value considers all the cash flows occurring throughout the life of the project from the very beginning in net present value the outflows or cost is considered negative while inflows or savings are considered as positive the important point to be taken into account is the time when the cash flows happens it should be discounted depending on the time for example if cash inflow of 2000 rupees happen 2 years later then the saving has present value is equal to saving amount divided by in bracket 1 plus r bracket raised to n where r is interest rate and n is equal to number of years in this case it is 2 so the present value of 2000 will be 2000 divided by in bracket 1 plus 0.1 raised to 2 after solving we will get the value is equal to 1652 rupees which means the present value of 2000 rupees receivable after 2 years is only 1652 rupees this is present value of a single cash flow sum of all such cash flow will be net present value of the project hence net present value can be given by the formula shown in the slide npv is equal to cf0 divided by 1 plus r raised to 0 plus cf1 divided by 1 plus r raised to 1 and so on here cf means cash flows and cf0 cf1 cf2 means cash flows at the end of zeroth first and second year and so on for example cf0 is initial investment which is initial cost and it is taken as negative and 1 plus r raised to 0 anything raised to 0 will become 1 hence the first term will be minus times initial cost and so on here r will be interest rate on capital and nb the life of the project here cash inflows or profit or saving are taken as positive while cash outflows or loss or cost are taken as negative the higher the net present value the attractive the project is if the npv is negative then the project is not economically suitable for investment if there are two projects which yields same amount in their equal life span but project 1 yields significant cash flows in earlier life than project 2 then npv of project 1 will be greater than project 2 this indicates that npv takes into account the time value of money we will discuss some examples on npv in another video right now let's see the advantages npv considers time value of money it also considers the cash flow throughout the entire life of the project limitations npv in npv a realistic interest or discount rate is difficult to predict that's the only limitation of it that's it thank you also watch the video on internal rate of return please subscribe